Hello everyone and welcome to Games, Comics and Crafts. In this video I'll be looking at Cobra Commander issue 4. Okay, so this is the fourth issue of Cobra Commander. I believe there's five in this series. Um, I could be wrong. But, uh, yeah, this was a I opened this up and I thought they'd actually change the artist. I don't believe they have. It's just some of it looks a little bit looser than before. Um, and also, Cobra Commander's for the last four issues has been wearing that hat. And all of the publicity photographs, all the publicity photographs, the photo image, and obviously the covers have got in with the, like, the classic Cobra Commander helmet. I'll just add it. I'll just add and draw like that, but just without the helmet. I think that's cool. Um, and obviously matches up the thing, but again, we all know that um, covers rarely match the uh, actual interiors. So, anyway, um, so Cobra Commander basically is, is been told by the Dreadnoughts that uh, they've got something going on down in in this little kind of bunkery thing. He, he goes down there and finds a scientist that apparently has some uh, knowledge of how Energon is um, working and can basically reproduce it or kind of alter it slightly. Um, the Dreadnoughts have been beaten up by the uh, the big guy, which again I can't remember his name. Is it, is it Destroyer or something like that? It's, uh, anyway, so yeah, he's flapping around like good. And, um, they fight him off eventually and then he basically goes to decide that he needs to go and see go and see Cobra Commander rather than you know, fight the Dreadnoughts. Uh, so yeah, this guy basically says that he can basically take energy on restructure it in a slightly less pure form and basically still still make it so that it can uh, make stuff uh, and obviously he, these kind of little robotic bugs get to be uh, regenerated up using the energy on now not being funny at least one was suspicious like an insecticon but there you go um the destroyer is a destroyer i'm going to call him the destroyer because again i can't remember what his name is oh nem Nemesis, okay, there you go. Right, it's because it was Red and Evil, I thought it couldn't possibly be Nemesis. Um, so he turns up, basically, with Code Commander, and says, look, okay, you're, you're, you're not going anywhere, and it, it is kind of revealed that Nemesis basically is there to not only just watch Code Commander, basically just to finish you off, because he's going to be bringing back um, technology to Code Lara, and he don't want him to do so. Um, so then it's an all-out fight between Nemesis and Code Commander, uh, which is quite cool. Um... Cobra Commander gets a little bit messed up here. He loses his mask. He looks. He's got his kind of like messed up face, but he manages to uh, take him out by using these kind of again bugs that seem to transform into a weapon. Okay, not exactly insecticons, but they do transform and blast him through the chest, and he goes down. The Dreadnoughts kind of uh, guy is been fleeing, and he basically kind of says, "Who have you been sending all this information? All these." Uh, Tech 2 will get energy on 2, and it turns out they are sending it to Despro at Mars Industries. So we've now got a crossover as such with Despro um, in Duke Comic being a pinpoint on the uh, the little energy map that was given to Duke, and obviously now Cobra Commander. So are we going to see some kind of clash between? Duke and Cobra Commander at Death Row, uh, at the uh, single location. Uh, no, like issue five is going to be that kind of like crossover. I don't know, um, but that, then that's done. So issue five apparently is supposed to be out this week. We haven't had issue four yet, and apparently I think issue four is supposed to be coming out this week. So I'm going to go double check that. Um, Engine Universe, which I believe has got some short stories in it, and then back to Transformers issue eight as well. And then we've got Cobra Commander, issue 5 of issue 15, which seems to show Cobra Commander with lots and lots of Cobra of people. So whether or not we're going to have, a, a again, like a time skip, because technically speaking, we don't know what's going on on Earth in Transformers, because obviously we're now on Cybertron, so stuff could be happening while that's been happening kind of thing. So, But yeah, anyway, um, then we get a little bit of creature from the Lagoon, which looks pretty nice as well. Um, Transformers RPG as well, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's about it really for Cobra Commander. But yeah, again, it's it's going along at a fair pace. I say I honestly did not think a Cobra Commander book would be a good idea. Um, and this has actually been pretty decent, and they've managed to kind of weave his story through various kind of aspects of GI Joe lore without 
you know, murdering everybody, and uh, hopefully they'll shut up in a proper G.I. Joe uh, Cobra book at some point in time. We haven't even got a date for a, a possible a new G.I. Joe book. We assume there's going to be one, but there you go, we'll see. So, there you go. All in all, yep, again, another good solid, you know, four out of five. Um, and, yeah, good stuff. So, there you go. That's pretty much all I can say about this one. So, thank you very much for listening, and hopefully I will catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.